We are going to talk about triangles. Triangles are a very important shape in geometry and in the world. Um, all sorts of things to do with triangles. One, any polygon can be cut into triangles. So if we understand triangles, we can understand the polygons. Two, bridges are made out of triangles. That's how you get the best support, is by creating a triangular structure. So there's one bridge. There's another bridge. It's probably a walking bridge. And also, houses need triangles for the roof trusses. So, triangles are very important. We want to look at them. The first thing we want to look at is a concept of congruent triangles. Triangles have six parts, and if they're congruent, then all six parts have a twin in another triangle. Now, they don't have to be in the same orientation, but they can be rotated, reflected, translated. You know, those transformations that are isometries. Remember those words? Now, here's the thing, though. I don't want to have to measure all six parts. Every time I want to make the same triangle, I don't want to have to measure all six parts. So let's find some minimum combination that we can deal with. So if we just measure these one, these two, these three things, then we know all six parts are the same. That's what we're going after first. And let's talk about what if we know one angle? Well, if I know that one angle is 50 degrees in a triangle, and I go to make one triangle, and here's the one triangle here that I made with a 50 degree angle. And I tell somebody else, hey, make a triangle with 50 degrees. Are they going to make the same triangle I do? And it's pretty obvious that, you know, no, they're not. They can be, maybe they make lots of triangles, none of which, well, one of which, would be the same as the one I made. So knowing one angle is not enough. Um, how about knowing one side? Well, here, let's make a side four. Well, here I made a triangle side four, and then the other side is 1.82, and the other side is 4.29. And then I told somebody else, hey, make a triangle side four, and they made a completely different triangle. So one side is not enough to make congruent triangles. One angle is not enough to make congruent triangles. You know, no matter how we turn this thing, we're never going to, you know, not enough. So, next we're going to investigate, what if we know two parts? 